Yeah, I think the major barriers to the prefab industry is just real lack of knowledge. So you have a lot of architects that don't understand the prefabricated element design process and a lot of builders that don't have a process to enable prefabrication. So their current contract methodologies and their current procurement methodologies, um, they sort of process entropy. They just do the same thing over and over again and they don't really know how to enable a different process. So that's a big barrier. I think when the owners hear about what the benefits are they can get, they really want that, but they don't have people that can actually implement that to, to get them the value that they're looking for. I think the opportunities in the industry are pretty much unbelievable at this point. I mean, really, the sky's the limit because we have such a lack of um, depth in supply chain, even globally. So if you've got an innovative way of building something these days, you're going to be successful as long as you can help people understand how to integrate that into their current design and, and construction process. So I think they're really unlimited opportunities, and there are great places around the world that people are really promoting and expecting the use of prefabrication. So places like Singapore and the UK, um, some places even in the U.S. on certain building types. Really, just again, there's just unlimited opportunity for those people that can come up with a better way to do things. Yeah, I think my message is you've got to get on the journey and you've got to work with people that have been on the journey for a long time. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. This has been done in one form or another. Anything that you're looking to do in prefabrication has been done and there's an expert in that area somewhere on this planet. And it's not hard to find them, right? With things like LinkedIn and social media, you can find those people that actually know how to do the things that you're looking to. So don't try to start from scratch and, and that way you can learn the hard lessons faster and hopefully avoid some of the, the pitfalls that happened to them as they learned along the way. And and, and make your project successful. So I'm always looking to make projects successful whether we're involved in them or not because we need success. Success breeds other success in industries and we need to see more and more opportunities arise because people have done the right work and, and, and really seen the right outcomes happen.